Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 1st of May here. Sorry, a bit of coffee there. Uh, ISM today in the U.S. No one really cares about this data. It's it's all going to suck, right? Um, people are... People are trading around the sadness now. It's basically what it is. Uh, when there's less sadness, say, uh, possibilities of a vaccine or whatnot, uh, things are happy. Um, and then when there's more sadness, death tolls, non-openings, quarantine continuation, um, we trade risk off, and it's sad. Uh, today we're in the sad zone. Um, the whole world's getting real pissed at China, and this isn't good um, for an already very, 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 very fragile glo global economy. So we're risk off today. Plus the bullshit uh, month end stuff is over. Um, so equities, I think, have come back to their senses a bit. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at equities first. Um, came off yesterday after a 29.64 high, 29.65 high. 100 handles lower now. Um, we talked about 28.50 the other day. I will sell 28.50s. I will sell 28.50s. Uh, well, it looks like to me 28.50s are going to trade today. So um, get ready for that. Core short is the way in equities. Crude, uh, we talked about getting long yesterday. Wish I could tell you that we survived that perfectly. We made a little money, but not really enough. Um, the move back down to um, this move here, um, the move back down to 55 got us. So, but. We had a feeling crude was going to go higher. We had a feeling we were going to clear these um, 1830s. We did. Uh, but then, you know, we fell a buck and a half, which is 10%, quite quickly. And then we jumped two bucks. I mean, crude is tough, 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 tough animal. But looks like crude is, is going to go higher. I think the selling from USO and the June contract looks to be over. Um, crude looks all right. I wouldn't say it's going to 30 bucks or anything, but, uh, crude, crude looks all right. No, no positions in crude here. Um, let's take a look at currencies. Crazy fix yesterday, right? Holy shit. Big, big dollar sell. This is the fix bar here. There it is. 108.60. To 109.60, 100 point euro bar on the fix. Um, big dollar selling, same with cable, 120, 125, the figure to 126. This is the fix bar up to 15. Then the fix faders got stopped out on the way to 42. Dollar Swiss also smoked. Hope you're still short, Dollar Swiss. Um, there she is. Hard to uh, hard to really understand what was going on there with that fix. Uh, a couple of things were happening. Let's look at the euro yen. The market was very short euro yen. Then we had sort of this euro dollar buy. Then we had stops in euro yen at one sixteen fifteen. Then we had stocks above stops above fifty, and then of course we had stops above that eighty level. Um, and then here we are. So euro yen super extended. And then. Last hour we had went up to 117.77. That's that's a 200 point move in uh, euro yen on basically nothing, just positioning and a bit of fixed flow. I don't really know what to do with that. Um, you know we're short Aussie yen, but these yen crosses look a little bit overdone. Um, but back to the dollar side of this. Uh, there should be support today. 108.91. We highlighted this line here yesterday. It didn't really work. We traded 99 um, and then back to 36. And then third time through, it, it, it broke. There should be support. 
108.91 here. There should be support 125 and a quarter in cable. Um, Aussie yen, we talked about it. If we see it around 70 cents for a stupid reason, just close your eyes and sell. Heavens to Betsy, that was um, that was a bit crazy. Traded 16 back to 60 but then on like kind of a a mildly fuck you move we went back to 10 like what's up with that um but we survived all that nonsense and one of the reasons we survived it is we didn't trade it all that well yesterday so we were short at 70s we scooped some back up in in the 50s thinking we were going to get a chance to resell it so we were square as it went down to 22 we were like square and sad, and but then we got a chance to resell from that idiotic fix. Anyway, core short Aussie yen. We really like this now. Here's the dailies making a new low um, as we speak. Fifteen was the low, which is a new daily low. Equities look like hell. Um, short Aussie yen. We like that. Uh, we're going to stick with that one. What else is out there? Gold. No fucking clue, right? Why the hell is gold here? Um, equities hammered. Dollar smashed against everything else except for gold. Are we going to take out stops below 16? 66? Sure looks like it. Uh, if we do, you might want to think about buying some gold. Uh, we, we've just given up on gold. It's just insanely, insanely hard. Dollar Norway um, doing what what it's doing. Coming to these lows here uh, at ten, twelve. If we get through this on a daily close. You're going to have to um, either lower your stop if you're short. Maybe you, are, you have a trend book that's short. You can lower your stop um, to above these highs here at 1080. If we get down through these, these 10, 13 lows, this could easily happen, right? Uh, oil's turned and, and uh, the dollar's offered. Uh, dollar Norway could be interesting. Dollar CAD, less interesting that 138.55. We broke by four pips yesterday, and now it looks like it's put on a bit of a floor here. As you can imagine, Euro CAD through the roof yesterday on the fix. Big bullish engulfing. Euro Aussie also through the woof. The woof is on fire. Wow. You get the feeling these Euro crosses, just from a technical perspective, this is a big downtrend, bullish engulfing. Nobody has this. Stopped at the 200 day. My, my. If you're paying attention to Euro Aussie, you could have got yourself into a really sexy position there. Uh, we were not paying attention to it, but we are short Aussie yen. Um, but these Euro crosses look weirdly robust and it just makes no sense right Christine Lagarde you know I mean she shit the bed yesterday that was terrible my god talk about like swimming in the deep end doing the doggy paddle in the deep end my god uh, and here we are Euro much higher across the board <laughs> who, who would have guessed it uh I certainly would not have guessed it. Um, so here we are. Uh, anyway, I'm talking a lot, but I'm not saying too much today. Uh, focus is on this Aussie yen short. You want to sell high ones in Aussie yen, and you want to be core short stocks. 28.50 will trade today. Um, so this is a big focus for us. 
if we do see euros back down towards 109 we'll try and buy also we will try and buy cable near 125 and a quarter have a good day traders and a good weekend be safe uh catch you monday ciao